John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures, Serious Testing, Successful Hunting. Today I'm going to be testing another head by Tough Head. Okay, you may have seen my test a little while ago of the Tough Head Evolution Series two blade single bevel head. And Evolution is their series of broadheads that Tough Head has just come out with with their new owner as they're making a crossover and foray into the compound bow market as well. They have a great reputation for what they've done in the trad archery market. So you saw the two blade test perhaps and check it out if you didn't already. But this is the Tough Head Evolution Series three blade head. Okay, I'm going to be putting this to the test. It's got some really cool, unique features to it. Let's zoom on in here, take a look at it, and then see how this head performs. Here's a real good look at the broad head close up. This is a cool looking head right here. It's a three blade head, as you can see, double bevel to it. It's constructed, machined out of a single piece of S7 tool steel, which is an excellent steel to use in a broadhead application because of its incredible resistance to impact. It is super durable. Its, uh, its resistance to impact is multiple times better than that of typical stainless steel. And I wanna note here that when I tested the two blade head, I saw that the tip rolled over when it impacted the concrete. The owner saw that, Wojo, and he asked me to send the heads back because he feared there might've been an error in the hardening process. And after testing them, he found that was indeed the case, that the Rockwell was supposed to be 55 on those heads, but in that batch, it was actually 48. So if and when I get some more of the two blades, I'll retest them in that hard impact test. But these three blade heads were tested as well, and they have the correct hardness of 55 on the Rockwell scale. Now this is the 200 grain model. There's also a 300 grain model. The cutting diameter is one inch. So that's relatively small, okay, a one inch cut. It's not gonna be a very big hole, but the goal is penetration. That's the overall goal of this head is to maximize penetration, and they're gonna do that by just having a one inch of cut, but then it's three blades, so you're still getting an inch and a half of tissue being cut. The blades are 0.042 inches thick, it's 2.1 inches long. And then you notice in the ferrule here, it's got this scoop design to the ferrule. And that's designed to aid in flight, as well as penetration, as well as to create a nice wound channel as it goes through an animal. So I'm really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs. Four hundred. <laughs> Penetrated five and three quarter inches. Four seventy five. <laughs> it penetrated through fifty three layers. Here you can see the holes in the steel plate, and you can see that they're nice triangular holes that often come with a one-piece steel head like this. So even though they're only one inch in cutting diameter, they are nice holes and not just three slits. Here's the head after going through the steel plate five times. Spins perfectly true. Blades are pristine. Just no signs of wear. Maybe some slight cosmetic things, but... Man, incredible durability. Here's the tough head three blade. After the concrete, as well as after the steel plate, and it's just in pristine condition. Excellent, excellent durability. Penetrated very well into the concrete, about that deep. Tip is very sharp, no rollover. The edges still sharp as well. So what'd you think of the Tough Head Evolution Series 3 blade? Man, it performed very well. Check out the score sheet and see how it did in the areas that matter to you the most for your hunting purposes. But if you're looking for a deep penetrating, super durable head, 
This one is definitely worth a look. I'd say those are its greatest strengths. Uh, on the weakness side, if you call it a weakness, I'm not a huge fan of, of really long broadheads like that um, because it does adversely affect flight a bit. However, they've designed this really well to help make up for some of that. Also, the, uh, the cut size is not very big for what I really like in a broadhead, but that allows it to penetrate more deeply. And for a lot of people, that's what they're really looking for. So again, check out the score sheets and see what matters to you the most. But this is definitely worth a look. Great job, Toughhead.